hey guys hey 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 uh uh thank you guys for being here yes welcome to the channel my name is uh, danny cj so today's topic is about um, the difference between ascension and spiritual awakening yes there's a huge difference between the two ascension is uh, basically um making a positive psychological shift so every time you make a positive psychological shift you are sent you upgrade mentally your psych upgrades you get an upgradation psych upgradation yes so every time you get that upgradation you are sent that's what we call ascension and ascension is something that we've it's a journey we've always been on We've always been on a journey of ascension. The reason why we've been reincarnating and incarnating on this planet is because of this uh, journey of ascension. The reason is um, we had to master this art of ascension. We came here to master the art of ascension. We couldn't do that before. Obviously, we have failed time and time up until now. Um... I think for the most part, the reason why is because we were not supported. Earth was not supporting this ascension beyond the third dimension. Because ascension has always been there. We do ascend from birth. We experience life um, within the lower densities, within the one first dimension, second dimension, third dimension. We ascend from lower densities from from uh, the second dimension to the third dimension we have been on this journey and then we for the most part we have been stuck on the third dimension for years and centuries we are only able to ascend from lower from first dimension second dimension up until the third dimension we couldn't move beyond the third dimension like I said, because Earth was not supporting of this ascension yet, up until now. So that's what ascension is. Every time you make a positive psychological shift, because from being a teenager, you make shifts, you start understanding things, you start processing things differently, you start reasoning differently, you know, as we grow up, as our psyche change. That's what we call ascension. Yes. That's what ascension is. So, spiritual awakening is awakening to the fact that there is ascension. It's awakening to the fact that we are actually on a journey of ascension. You realize, I'm on a journey of ascension. The most important thing here on this planet is actually ascension. When you awaken spiritually, you become more aware of your inner world. Rather than what your eye perceives. Rather than what we've been taught to focus on. While, rather than what the system has been teaching us all this while. We were being taught to only focus on what's outside of the, what's outside of us. We thought that's the only reality there is. And then when you awaken, you become more aware that, of the fact that there's another dimensions. You can elevate yourself. You can upgrade psychologically beyond the, the third dimension. So you awaken to help yourself move on a much more faster pace to what's higher consciousness. Because you can move faster while once you awaken because you become more aware of your psyche your mental state, how you think, your thought process, how you, your understanding, the knowledge you consume, the knowledge, what you believe in, what you listen to, what you watch, you, be, you become more aware of what you put in, in, in your psyche, what you put in your mind. You become more aware of all, the, all of those things. So you start, you start making conscious decisions to, Help yourself ascend even further than the third dimension. That's how you escape the matrix. That's how you escape the third dimension. It's much easier 
to move and ascend towards higher consciousness, towards higher dimensions, once you are aware of the fact that there is something called ascension. Ascending beyond the third dimension. But ascension has always been there. Has always been there. We still have people operating from the second dimension. Like I said, as, as kids, we operate, we do operate from lower densities, then we ascend to the third dimension. But we still have adults operating from the second dimension, from the first dimension. Um, we have narcissists, psychopaths, sociopaths. They operate from lower densities. No entities, no evil spirits and no what have you. No, it's just human beings operating from lower densities. They got stuck in the lower densities due to childhood traumas. Yes, they got stuck in lower densities. They couldn't move beyond the second dimension and now they got stuck there. They couldn't move towards, they couldn't ascend to reach the third dimension. They couldn't. They got stuck in the second and lower dimensions, lower densities. Yes, so awakening is basically becoming more aware of the fact that there is something called ascension. You become aware of reaching higher level of uh, consciousness. It has never been done. Only the few has done that. It's Christ, uh, Buddha, yes, and obviously the other people, but just to name a few, and whether you believe or not, I think Christ is the perfect demonstra demonstration of what higher consciousness is. Whether you believe or not, whether you believe in the man, in the flesh or not. But he is the perfect demonstration of what operating from higher level of consciousness is. So we can use it as an example of where we are headed or where we want to be. Yes, yes. So that's ascension. That's what we call ascension. We are on the journey of rising towards the higher dimensions, which is beautiful. So now that now this time we are in Earth, it's hundred percent supporting awakening. It's hundred percent supporting humanity uh, on this journey of. Ascending beyond the third dimension. Yes, isn't that incredible? I think it's amazing. I think it's super amazing. Now is the perfect time to ascend. Now we are being 100% supported to move beyond the third dimension, the fourth dimension, to, to move even beyond the fifth dimension. Yes, now is the perfect time. So that is ascension. We've been on this journey. From the beginning of time, we've been on this journey of ascension. From the beginning of time, we've been on this journey of ascension. But we've never been able to master it. Up until now, we've never been able to master it. We got stuck in third dimension. We were not supported. Earth was not supporting it. And as Earth was not supporting it, we got stuck in the third dimension because of uh, what what we were taught, what we believed, what our belief systems were. Uh, we got stuck in the system, in this matrix, and we couldn't move beyond it. Um, the matrix, the system, our old beliefs, what we used to believe as true, what we perceived as true, as real, as uh, life, uh, what we perceived as uh, our own life, what life as as we knew it or we thought we knew it, was not was not so supportive of us moving beyond the sub the third dimension. There's like too much manip manipulation there. There's, there was too much brainwashing involved, too much uh, disbelief, too much illusions there, so we couldn't. So hence. Even when we grew up, when we grew up, when we were born, 
we manage to ascend up until the third dimension but not beyond because by the time we get to the third dimension our mind our psyche had already been tampered with manipulated brainwashed by the time we got to the third dimension our psyche had already been tampered with so we couldn't we could we just couldn't move beyond the third dimension so now people are awakening people are now becoming more aware of what illusion is what lies is what manipulation is how brainwashed we've been people are becoming more aware of that and guess what happens as they become aware the, the, what happens as they become aware yes they now are much more eager we are now we have we now have more humans much more eager to focus on ascension to ascend beyond the third dimension and fourth dimension even beyond the fourth and fifth dimension now we are now the most of us are much more excited to be here now to move beyond we are now committed to move and master this art of ascension as we become aware of illusions of of being stuck of what we've been taught as we become aware of that and we escape from that lower densities that third dimension that system as we escape that we are now propelling ourselves even further even beyond the fourth dimension the fifth dimension and it's just super exciting so yes that is what spiritual awakening is awakening to the fact that there is ascension you know the journey of ascension we are on the journey of ascension and ascension is basically making that psychological shift to moving beyond and leveling up to reach the most highest level of ascension yes yes so now we are all on this journey of ascension now people are awakening and yes things are happening yes yes and i'm just happy about that and thank you guys for being here that will be all for today i'm just gonna leave it there so if you like this and you want to hear more about this let me know yes thank you